my name is Kara and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to be doing this DIY. I have been daydreaming about this for weeks now, so I'm really excited to actually be making it happen today. So today we're gonna be making five minute amethyst magnets. You heard it, five minutes to have amethyst on your fridge. I can't wait. I live in New York City and a nickname for New York, for those of you who don't know, is a concrete jungle. So I've been trying to fill my apartment with as many natural elements as I can to just be surrounded by nature a bit in my life. So I have a lot of plants, I use a lot of earth tones in my decorating here in New York. Uh, so with that, I feel like making these really beautiful amethyst magnets is a natural step in that progression for me. I also have a lot of greeting cards and photos that I'd love to display. So having um, extra magnets on my fridge will help me do just that. So I found these really beautiful amethysts on Etsy. I will link the shop I got them from um, down below in the description, but what I like about them is that the front is just so beautiful. I can just stare at these for hours. I'm really excited that I can once they're on my fridge. And then the back is flat, so it's really easy to hot glue a magnet to it. So I found these, like I said, on Etsy. Um, the shop will be linked in the description. And then I got magnets from Michaels. Um, I don't remember the exact price, but I wanna say these were around $5. And then uh, you will need hot glue. So this is a really fun and simple DIY, like I said. So without further ado, let's get into making these amethyst magnets. Okay, so I have everything I need laid out in front of me. I have my five amethysts and I have five magnets here. And then I have my hot glue to the right. So this DIY really only involves two steps. Step one is we're gonna put some hot glue on the back of a magnet. So I'm really just gonna put hot glue in the center of this magnet. Um, here we go, let me let it focus so you can see how much hot glue I actually have. So it's really just a bit in the center of the magnet. And then step two, ooh, it's coming off the edge a bit, that's okay. Um, step two is we're gonna attach the magnet to the back of the amethyst, just like this. And I'm just gonna hold it down for about, for a few seconds, just so um, the glue actually connects with the amethyst. Okay, there we go. So that was really easy to do. Um, this is what it looks like on the back now. Um, so I'm gonna do this four more times and then we're gonna see how the magnets look um, on my fridge holding up cards or photos or whatnot. So I'm really excited to show you guys the final product and to see it myself. I, I'm really excited to see. So I'm gonna do four more and then I'm gonna show you um, my fridge. Okay, so now as you guys can see, I have the magnets up on my fridge. Um, they're holding up three really special pieces to me so I'm really happy now I have a way to display photos, cards, or quotes that I love. Um, I think the magnets are just so cute and I'm so happy with the way they turn out. Okay, so I'm super happy with the way these magnets turned out. I can't get over how cute they are. They're just so cute and they look amazing on my fridge. So I'm really, really happy. And I wanna make more rock magnets. So if you, if you have any suggestions of what rock I should make um, magnets with next, please let me know down in the comments. And I just wanna thank you all so much for watching. And if this video brought you value, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care now, bye.